Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today, we're gonna get right back into the My Player Builder for NBA 2K24, but before we get into the video, though, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It's liking up the video, puts the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put your note again for my daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into this video. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. You know, some stuff that came out that was really golden, that really made me excited. Uh, once again, man, I've been leaning on my man Mike, man. Shout out to Mike Wayne. Um, he was going crazy with the information. Um, and one of the tweets he did, it was actually replies. So my man 2K Day said, at Baluba, what's the sweet spot in your opinion on ball handle and speed with ball? What ratings will unlock the top tier animations? Okay. Baluba replied, I really like Steph and Trey Moves, so I usually go 92. Now, he's saying 92. He's talking about ball handle. And then he said the highest unlock is Steve Francis, which is the six size up at 95. So, as you can see, Steve Francis, which is one of the best dribble sigs, is now going to be at 95. It looks like Trey Young and, and um, Steph Curry is still going to be at a 92. But what that means is, is that obviously... The Steve Francis size up, remember now with pro play, things are different. Um, obviously, it's going to be the best size up, right? And I spoke about this before in my other videos. And I kept saying, I was like, yo, like, you know, because, okay, play this. A lot of people know I played the game, okay? So I have played NBA 2K24, and I was able to put input in that. But a lot of people also get it misconstrued to think that, like, I've seen everything. I haven't. And again, I'm very confined to what I can play and see. When I'm, te when I'm testing out NBA 2K24. So with the My Player Builder, I haven't seen it. But I gave input on it. And of course, again, like I always say, you just use common sense. You know what's broken in 23. You expect it to be fixed in 24. Okay? So that is automatically, just by seeing that alone, I automatically know that the speed of the ball is going to matter. And obviously, the best... Um, dribble style is going to be the highest rated like off rip i know that if steve francis is a 95 and if michael jordan dribble style is the highest one then maybe your speed with balls gonna have to be in the high 90s now which is going to be crazy because if you want to get steve francis that means you're going to have to have like a 95 ball handle and then like a 90 something speed with ball which how it should be to get the best six right but now that balances out the builder when you have to make sacrifices right that's when you are going to get a balanced builder when you have to sit there and think like yo like you know if i want to get the best you know dribble style to be able to explode out of my um i'm out of my dribbles and i gotta get you know this again i'm just going on 23 I'm, i do not know what 24 best is going to be so i'm gonna say michael jordan beforehand my, you didn't have to sacrifice you can make a six nine you didn't have to go high on your speed with ball you was able to go 75 and then that's instead of going 75 to 90 just listen from 75 speed ball to 90 speed ball in, the 20, in NBA 2K23 Builder. That was enough to be able to give you a high three ball. So that's how you're able to make demi guys. When you don't have to go high and sacrifice, you can still stay low and get the best animations. So let's just keep going. Again, you can assume that now passing style. We all know in 23, um, not having any passing style equipped was actually the best based upon 2K Labs and stuff. But the next best one was LeBron James. So now I'm saying like, all right, cool. LeBron James, if you want to get LeBron James, you know, ain't none of that 75. You probably got to have like an 85, a 90, maybe a 90. You know what I'm saying? That's how it should be. The best SIGs, again, like I'm saying, the best SIGs should be the highest rated. Okay? Let's keep it moving. Okay? Let's say for, let's talk about, uh, let's go, three-point shooting. Okay, three point shooting. Agent Threes was a 92. Um, in order to get H3 Hall of Fame was a 99. Okay, so that was actually pretty straight. Nah, so that's actually not a good one. Let's think about oh, dunks, dunk animations, quick drops was was an 80, but now it's gone. It's no longer in the game. All right, so that that's something that's gonna be huge. But what are some of the other dunk packages that were really OP? You know what I'm saying? We all know Russell Westbrook was one. Come on, like you know the the, the league players know what I'm talking about. Um, and there was another one, Athletic Something, that was really good. Clyde Drexler, everybody used Clyde Drexler, right? Um, that was a good one. Um, what's it? Oh, Scottie Pippen, 
that was another good one. Just straight arms to the basket was you know, a really good one. So then you expect those to be higher. But I also, fingers crossed, hopefully the vert will also require higher. You know what I mean? Because then that will allow, like, you know, um, let's say, for instance, you got to have, like, a 90-something now to be able to get these dunk packages. But instead of just have, only having to have, a you know, a, a 85, maybe you have to start pushing in the 90s to get that. Another thing, contact dunks. Maybe that should be higher now. Instead of being, you know, an 85, maybe it's higher. And I know, like, off rip, on the surface, you might be like, dang, no, 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 I don't, don't do that. But all in all, since, again, like I said, when you go away from pie charts, and you're in a free form builder that we've been for the past couple years, you have to make it to where sacrifices have to be made. And I know a lot of you are gonna say, well, no. And I seen the comments and I see a lot of people talk about like, I wanna, I don't wanna have a role player, I wanna have Michael Jordan. And that's great. But I mean, I make a Michael Jordan build, like again, 2K20, I made a Michael Jordan build based upon the pie chart and it was still great, right? But at the same time, you do want to see different builds out there on the court. Again, this is my opinion. That does not mean it's right. It don't mean that it's wrong. It's my opinion. And if you feel like you want to still have 6'9 demigods, that's, your, that's perfectly fine. And that's perfectly okay to think that way. Because, you know, you're investing your money in that and whatever. That's cool. But again, like I say, I just feel like having a balanced builder is always going to be the best outcome for the community in a whole. A lot of people keep leaning on 2K20. It's just not me. I feel like 2K20 has been the best 2K we've had since. You know what I mean? And um, when it comes to especially with the bills and stuff, I do not think we should have pie charts, obviously. So, you know, hopefully 2K24 is not a pie chart type thing. But if it's still free forming, hopefully it's something that still will allow you to make sacrifices. If anything you get out of this, this video, just remember that. In order to have a great builder, sacrifices have to be made. And if, if you're not, if I'm not being clear enough, what I'm saying is, is that you have to be able to sit there and be like, dang, I want this. Let's say, for instance, driving dunk, contact dunks in these animations. But I also want that, which is like Steve Francis and Trey Young, right? And then if you were to go and get both of those, then the sacrifice should be then. Your shooting can only go but high to like maybe a 60. Because now you sacrifice. You basically made like a yellow, blue pie chart, right? So now your shooting shouldn't be great, okay? And your defense shouldn't be great. When I say shouldn't be great, maybe they should just be average, okay? And then you still got your physicals to talk about. So it should be something that sits there and makes you think, really try to figure out how you want to play and what's your play style, and then go from there. I know it's always going to be controversy behind that. I've been passionate about the thing for the longest, but I do know a lot of people. I, I, you know, if I was to do a poll, I'm, it might be 50-50. Who knows? 50% 50, 50 be like, yo, pie charts were the best. Another 50% be like, nah, I want demigods. You know what I mean? But I think demigods should be reserved or like great should be reserved for the people that are progressing through the game. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you got your build made. And then as, you know, the, the year goes on, maybe the rep, because we got rep back, maybe the rep will give you um, attributes, you know, to make your build better. You know what I mean? I like that type of stuff. Everybody starts off balanced with a build, right? And then you start to progress as the seasons go and you start to get other things, you know, like, you know, badge points or like in 23, when you hit level 40 in the season, you got the core badges. I mean, the patterns, like I like that type of stuff. So then by the time you hit legend, that's when you should have the demigod. That's what the whole purpose of grinding the game for is to have that demigod. And again, it might not be your view, you might not agree with that and that's perfectly fine you know i'm just speaking my piece you know what i'm saying but um let me know in the comment section what you think this is a major major w for mike wayne to come out and say that now these tiers are going to be higher for those requirements you know again i'm curious to know let me know in the comment section do you like the idea of what mike's talking about or you dislike the idea of what mike's talking about but other than that, if you're loving this type of news stuff, man, make sure you click a link up here that we have posted somewhere on the right side. Make sure you click that. And as usual, this is your favorite old head, Uncle Timmy. I'll be back really, really soon with another banger, man. You know, when I say back soon with the banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.